guys, in this episode, I want to talk about uh, submitting complex or compound data to your server, but having a really clean field um, in your form. So let's take a look at an example. I have plans and they have a minimum and maximum. You can imagine this would be something like the number of users they could have on their team or number of projects, that sort of thing. And in Ruby, we can have an, a range, which is a you know, range of numbers from one to say 10. And that's just a, a variable we can assign, it's an object. But our forms in the browser are not able to understand that. And so these need to be set up a little bit more complex. So you could split this up into separate fields, but like you've seen on the date uh, selector or time selector from Rails, that is like five, three or five um, select boxes, which is a pain in the butt and doesn't make sense for users to use. So when you do that, you need to be able to transform the uh, field that the browser is working with, that the user's using, and convert that into something you can submit to the server. So I wanna talk about two different ways to solve this problem. So let's first talk about how we're gonna format this form. So I'm gonna do something similar here, but we're gonna call it range and we're gonna do a select. So we're gonna have form.select, we're gonna call it range, and then we're gonna give it options for select. And this is gonna be an array of options. So our first one's going to be like one through 10, and we can either do this as a nested, a double nested array, or just one, a single array, I guess a, a single nested array. And um, I'll talk about both of those options as well. So let's take this example here where we might have these three options we want to list, and we want to format this, you know, nicely. And so we can render this select where you can choose some of the predefined things. But it's got compound data that we need to submit. Um, we need the start and the end to be submitted over to Rails. And so what I want to do is we'll comment out minimum and maximum. The user should not see those. And we'll submit range to the server, which means we're gonna need to go into plans controller and we're gonna add the range here, we would be able to skip min minimum and maximum, but I'm gonna leave them because it, we will use them in the other example. Um, and then we go into our plan model and we say attribute uh, range because range is going to be submitted and through strong params assigned to our plan, 